Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for refusing to take off my necklace at my friend's wedding. My 31F friend Mary, 30F, got married last week, and I was in her bridal party. We've known each other since high school, but all her other bridesmaids were college friends of hers whom I hadn't met until her bachelorette party a few months ago. So, other than Mary's immediate family, I didn't really know anyone else at the wedding. I was supposed to attend with my fiancé, but he caught COVID five days before the wedding and decided to stay home for everyone's safety. I tested negative, and we don't live together. As a little gesture, he had given me a beautiful opal necklace on a gold chain for our fifth anniversary specifically to wear to the wedding since it matched my bridesmaid dress. I asked Mary in our bridal party group chat if it was okay to wear our own jewelry, and she said that was fine. On the wedding day, while we were all outside the chapel taking pictures, Mary saw my necklace and loved it. She asked if she could switch her necklace with mine, and some other bridesmaids jumped in, saying it could be her something borrowed. I tried to be polite and explain that my fiancé had given me the necklace for this occasion, and since he couldn't be there, I wanted to keep it on. Mary and the other bridesmaids were persistent, arguing that it was her wedding and her photos, and I was being uncooperative. I stood my ground, saying I'd like to keep it on, because I wanted to share the photos with my fiancé. Mary was clearly unhappy, and the other bridesmaids gave me cold shoulders and dirty looks throughout the ceremony and reception. After the first dance, Mary's sister came up to me and expressed how upset Mary was, and how rude it was that I made her feel this way on her big day. I felt awful about the situation. Am I an asshole? It's been more than a week and I'm still thinking about it non-stop and Mary hasn't answered any of my texts. For a while, nothing had really changed. Mary continued to ignore my texts and I hadn't heard from her. That was until this past fall. In February, Mary's father was diagnosed with lymphoma. In September, he passed away. Her family is very tight-knit and we grew up in a small town, so everyone came out to help them. I went to the funeral but didn't get to speak to her beyond condolences. I decided to visit her at home the next night, unprompted with some cooked food. Her husband answered the door and was actually very happy to see me. He gave me a hug and told me he was grateful I came and took me into their living room where Mary was watching old movies. Mary was also excited to see me, gave me a hug and told me to sit with her. Her husband brought us wine and we spent hours talking, laughing, reminiscing about her dad. It was like the last year never happened. That was until a little past midnight and Mary told me she needed to talk to me about her wedding. She said she has no intention of wearing the necklace, she just wanted it out of the pictures. She said she recognized it from years ago. You see, Mary and I went to a public high school, but my fiancé and Mary's sister, Ani, went to a private high school in the area. When my fiancé and Ani were in school, he asked her out as a joke. Annie used to be very overweight in high school. He asked her out at school and later, when he was supposed to pick her up, he left at their door a bouquet of bacon and fries and a stuffed animal pig that was wearing the necklace. Mary remembered how much her sister cried. She thought if she recognized the necklace, Annie would too. And Annie did, she was so traumatized by seeing it again, and learning who my fiancé was, that she told me I ruined the wedding. Mary didn't want to bring it up at the time, and tried to get me to take it off while not explaining this horrible memory on her big day. Naturally, I was shocked at what I heard. And when I called him the next day to ask about it, he denied it. I pressed him and eventually he did tell me it was true, but it was only a high school prank not to take seriously. I asked him if he gave me that necklace so Annie would see it. He said yes, but he thought she would understand the joke. I'm now wondering if he even had COVID last year, he never showed me his positive test. If he knew how much Mary's family hated him and if he sent me with the necklace to further traumatize Annie. I feel sick, I haven't answered his calls and having second thoughts about our future marriage. Mary and I are back on good terms. She and her husband invite me over frequently. They've both stated they'll support me and let me stay with them if I call things off. AITA for walking out of my sweet 16 party after my sister announced her engagement. So, a couple of weeks ago, I had my sweet 16. It wasn't anything too wild, just a nice dinner with my family at a restaurant my parents had booked. My whole extended family was there, cousins, nieces, nephews, the works. After we finished eating and it was time to blow out the candles, my mom insisted I open some of my presents right then so I wouldn't have to carry them home. When I got to the gift from my older sister and her boyfriend, I was kind of taken aback. Inside the box was a Will You Be My Maid of Honor card. I stared at it, confused, and then my mom, without any tact, loudly exclaimed, You're getting engaged. 
My sister started squealing with excitement and told everyone about how she and her boyfriend were already planning their wedding. She thought it was the perfect time to make the announcement since the whole family was there. When she asked if I was going to say yes, I just nodded and excused myself to the bathroom. Instead of going to the bathroom, though, I walked out and went to a nearby park. I stayed there for a couple of hours, just trying to process everything. My dad eventually came to pick me up, and instead of yelling at me, he took me out for ice cream. We sat by the lake and talked. When I got home, my mom was furious. She yelled at me about how I wasted money and everyone's time. My sister and her boyfriend came out and told me how mean I was for ditching them like that. My sister even said that my birthday wasn't as important as her wedding, and my mom agreed. My dad ended up kicking my sister and her boyfriend out and had a serious talk with my mom about how they should have checked with me before making such a big announcement. So, I to hear. My dad and I sat my mom and sister down just so I could explain to her that I won't be her maid of honor as it's a big responsibility, and that it should be in the hands of an adult instead of a 16-year-old. Although she tried to convince me further I still said no. She starts growling me saying I was ruining her wedding, and that her and her fiancé went out of their way to buy me a gift which was her proposal box to me. Unfortunately, my mom and sister started telling me how cruel it was to ruin a wedding, and that it's not about me it's about the bride. My dad ended up arguing with my mom about how it isn't cruel and no 16-year-old should have to plan and help organize a wedding, as that is what MOHs do and it would be too stressful and should go to an adult instead. My mom started arguing with him about how it's not my day as I already had mine, and I should go forward with my sister's plan as it's about her and not me. My dad brought the birthday up and argued with my mom and my sister that she ruined my birthday and if she didn't try make it all about herself we wouldn't be arguing. I don't want to go into too much detail of what went down, but basically my sister started crying, and my mom called me a brat and a disgrace and how I've officially ruined my bitchy sister's wedding. And now staying at my grandparents' house until things cool down at home, I don't think they will TBH, since my mom tells me any chance she gets that I'm a brat and a horrible sister for not helping my big sister out for her special day. My dad is with my mom trying to sort her out and my other grandparents, my mom's parents, are talking with her as my dad told them what happened. I'm not going to be her maid of honor, nor her bridesmaid since she's a dick. I'm not sure if I'll even go to her wedding, I'll have to just see what my dad thinks about it. My grandparents, my dad's parents who I'm staying with ATM, are talking to my dad about considering divorcing or taking a break from my mom as she and my sister are creating a toxic environment for him and I to live in, and that after all these years they see no reason for him to live with such a woman. I don't really know what to think about it and I feel kind of lost, but I thought I'd update y'all. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.